I've heard people say it's, all, it's, it's, it's somewhat easier and safer to understand who you're dealing with. So if you know Trump is a racist, then you know what we're dealing with, right? There's no shame, so there's no real way to hold him accountable. That's the, that's the issue, that's right? Good. So like, it's not a, it's not about like, um, do I know you're a racist or don't I know you're a racist, right? I can shame Joe Biden into doing things that Donald Trump is never gonna have shame about. Good. And let, let me just add again, it, it was a setup. Oh, it yeah. was it was a setup to say, how far is he willing to go? <laughs> Right? Yeah. And so, I was, I was, so did you expect was, him to be like, I hate niggas? No. <laughs> but let me tell you what I will not do is give my vote to a racist or a blinded, veiled racist who does not understand our community. What you're talking about is the future of a country. Yes. Right? That like, we won't even be having the conversations about reform or getting a politician that we like because he's slowly eroding away the intentions of that. Right. So this is not the. I don't know. I don't know. Can, this can, is I, the can I just put it this way? Because this is so important. Because I, I know Facebook is about to go crazy, and I know when people hear my statement. I'm sorry, man. Like, I, I already get. We cool. We cool. We We gonna we gonna, we gonna hug after this, but I need because I will get hate mail like a mug in a minute. I'm saying I'm not voting for the presidential race, but I'm. Voting the rest of the ballot. Oh yeah, I heard you. So I need yeah, to yeah. I, I need to make that clear there because That's fair. That's fair. this yeah. will really get ugly. <laughs>